wasn't until the 1980s that advances in computers allowed us to actually visualize and reproduce mathematically the patterns in nature. The term fractal was coined in 1980 by mathematician Benoit Mendelbrot, who studied certain simple mathematical equations that, when they are repeated, produce an unending array of changing mathematical or geometrical forms within a limited framework. They are limited, but at the same time, infinite. A fractal is a rough geometric shape that can be split into parts, each of which is at least approximately a reduced size copy of the whole pattern, a property called self-similarity. Mendelbrot's fractals have been called the thumbprint of God. seeing artwork generated by nature itself. If you turn the Mandelbrot figure a certain way, it looks sort of like a Hindu deity or Buddha. This figure has been termed the Buddha Bro figure. forms of ancient art and architecture, you will see that humans have long associated beauty and the sacred with fractal patterns. Infinitely complex, yet every part contains the seed to recreate the whole. Fractals have changed mathematicians' views of the universe and how it operates. With each new level of magnification, there are differences from the original. Constant change and transformation occurs as we traverse from one level of fractal detail to another. This transformation is the cosmic spiral, the embedded intelligence of the matrix of time-space. Fractals are inherently chaotic, full of noise and order. When our minds recognize or define a pattern, we focus on it, as if it is a thing. We try to find the patterns we see as beautiful, but in order to hold the pattern in our minds, we must push away the rest of the fractal. senses is to limit its movement. All energy in the universe is neutral, timeless, dimensionless. Our own creativity and capacity for pattern recognition is the link between the microcosm and macrocosm. The timeless world of waves in the solid world of things. Observation is an act of creation through limitations inherent in thinking. We are creating the illusion of solidity of things by labeling, by naming. The philosopher Kierkegaard said, if you name me, you negate me. By giving me a name, a label, you negate all of the other things I could possibly be. 
You lock the particle into being a thing by pinning it down, naming it. But at the same time, you are creating it, defining it to exist, 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 exist. Creativity is our highest nature. With the creation of things comes time, which is what creates the illusion of solidity. Einstein was the first scientist to realize that what we think of as empty space is not nothing. It has properties. And intrinsic to the nature of space is nearly unfathomable amounts of energy. The renowned physicist Richard Feynman once said, There is enough energy in a single cubic meter of space to boil all the oceans in the world. Advanced meditators know that in the stillness lies the greatest power. The Buddha had yet another term for the primary substance, what he termed kalapas, which are like tiny particles or wavelets that are arising and passing away trillions of times per second. Reality is, in this sense, like a series of frames in a holographic film camera, moving quickly so as to create the illusion of continuity. When consciousness becomes perfectly still, the illusion is understood, because it is consciousness itself that drives the illusion.
In the ancient traditions of the East, it has been understood for thousands of years that all is vibration. Nada Brahma, Nada Brahma, the universe is sound. The word Nada means sound or vibration, and Brahma is the name for God. Is the name for God. Brahma simultaneously Brahma is the universe is and is the creator. And is the, creator. the artist and the art are inseparable. In the Upanishads, one of the oldest human records from ancient India, it is said, Brahma the creator, sitting on a lotus, opens his eyes and a world comes into being. Brahma closes his eyes and the world goes out of being. Ancient mystics, yogis, and seers have maintained that there is a field at the root level of consciousness. The Akashic field, or the Akashic records, where all information, all experience, past, present, and future, exists now and always. It is this field or matrix from which all things arise, from subatomic particles, to galaxies, stars, planets, and all life. You never see anything in its totality, because it is made up of layer upon layer of vibration, and it is constantly changing, exchanging information with Akasha, a tree is drinking in the sun, the air, the rain, the earth, the earth. A world of energy moves in and out of this thing we call a tree. When the thinking mind is still, then you see reality as it is, all aspects together. The tree and the sky and the earth, the rain and the stars are not separate. Life and death, self and other, are not separate. Just as the mountain and the valley are inseparable. In the Native American and other indigenous traditions, it is said that everything has spirit, which is simply another way of saying Everything is connected to the one vibratory source. source. There is one. 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 Consciousness. There is one consciousness.
consciousness. One consciousness. There is one consciousness. One field. One force that moves through all. This field is not happening around you. It is happening through you. And happening as you. You are the you in universe. In universe. In universe. You are the eyes through which creation's eyes through which creation sees itself. Within every particle, international researchers at CERN, the European Laboratory for Particle Physics, are searching for this field that extends throughout all things. But instead of looking within, they look to the outer physical world. Researchers at the CERN laboratory in Geneva, Switzerland, announced that they had found the Higgs boson, or the God particle. The Higgs boson experiments prove scientifically that an invisible energy field fills the vacuum of space. CERN's Large Hadron Collider consists of a ring 17 miles in circumference, in which two beams of particles race in opposite directions. Converging and smashing together at nearly the speed of light, scientists observe what comes out of the violent collisions. The standard model cannot account for how particles get their mass. Everything appears to be made of vibration, but there is no thing being vibrated. It is as if there has been an invisible dancer, a shadow. Dancing hidden in the ballet of the universe, all the other dancers have always danced around this hidden dancer. We have observed the choreography of the dance, but until now we could not see that dancer.
God particle, the properties of the base material of universe, the heart of all matter which would account for the unexplained mass and energy that drives the universe's expansion. But far from explaining the nature of the universe, the discovery of the Higgs boson simply presents an even greater mystery, revealing a universe that is more mysterious than we ever imagined. 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 sand on metal plates and then vibrated the plates with a violin bow. The sand arranged itself into patterns. Different geometrical forms appeared depending on the vibration produced. Cladney recorded an entire catalog of these shapes and they are referred to as Cladney figures. Many of these patterns can be found throughout the natural world. Such as the markings of the tortoise. Or the spot pattern patterns of a leopard. Studying Cladney patterns or cymatic patterns is one secret way in which high-end guitar, violin and other instrument makers determine the sound qualities of the instruments they make. Hans Jenny expanded on Cladney's work in the 1960s using various fluids and electronic amplification to generate sound frequencies and coined the term cymatics. If you run simple sine waves through a dish of water, you can see patterns in the water. Depending on the frequency of the wave, different ripple patterns will appear. The higher the frequency, the more complex the pa pa pattern. These forms are repeatable, not random. random. The more you observe, 
The more you start to see how vibration arranges matter into complex forms from simple repeating waves, from simple repeating waves. This water vibration has a pattern similar to a sunflower. underway in New York City this morning after the shooting of two more NYPD officers. Both are expected to survive. The shooting comes with police on high alert after the murders of two officers last month in Brooklyn. Two suspects involved in the shooting that took place around 10.30 last night. Surveillance video shows the moment the officers came up against the suspect's gunfire. As they approached the individual, one male was outside, one went inside. They approached the male outside when the male inside began firing at the officers through the doorway. A deadly shooting at a veterans medical clinic at Fort Bliss in Texas is under investigation. This morning, the gunman killed one person before officials say he shot and killed him. And killed him himself. It was a busy afternoon at the Veterans Affair Clinic at Fort Bliss in El Paso when reports of an active shooter came in at about 3 o'clock. The VA ordered everyone to shelter in place while authorities searched for the gunman. The suspect shot and killed one person before turning the gun on himself. Colorado Springs, Colorado, the FBI is actively investigating an explosion outside the local NAACP. I register personal objections because they're afraid of losing their job. If they don't um, comply, they can be fired. And that's uh, a completely different animal than we've seen in the past. The Atlanta Fire Chief terminated after publishing a controversial book. In it, he describes homosexuality. Big Brother invading more of your privacy. FBI setting up decoy cell phone towers able to scoop up your calls and your texts. The signal into government computers and electronics show. It's giving people quicker access to information, including probably most relevant right now. Technology right now is hacking. Some people say the key to staying secure may actually be getting rid of passwords and pin codes. This is a step in moving away from passwords. We've seen a lot of options. Friction of property all increasing, and that's according to the Christian watchdog group Open Doors USA, which for Islamic extremism remains the number one threat. Their target in the heart of Paris was the satirical magazine Charlie Hebdo. Minnesota. Across the country, officers blocked roads and searched houses in the Picardy region north of Paris for any possible hiding places. France is reeling from bloody twin sieges in Paris and near the capital, which left four hostages dead and four others critically injured. Helicopters for discussion right now. Uh, we should over military. We should continue to do that. One last thought. I'm sorry. No. After 9 11, I was in the building in 9 11. Right after 9 11, gone away. Maybe it's time to bring it back. You it's not intimidating. They don't. No, I mean, I was led by the president of France, but by his uh, longtime political rival as well. You see, young. Focus will be on change, not his own, but climate change. A new blast of Arctic air. It is 30 below zero in Riverton, California. The snow fell so fast in Southern California, more than 200 motorists became stranded on one of low-lying valleys, breaking a snowfall record set in the 1800s. Never see this in my life. So it's a lot of snow. Mentioned Catalina. That's where a fierce windstorm turned deadly. The high winds and chopping water slammed boats ashore in Avalon Harbor. What? described it as like a witch's cauldron with the wind whipping up from all directions. Throughout our exploration, 
The golden key is the intelligence of the Logos, the source of the primordial Om. One could say that it is the mind of God. With our limited senses, we are observing only the outer manifestation of the hidden mechanics of self-similarity. The source of this divine symmetry is the greatest mystery of our existence. Many of history's monumental thinkers such as Pythagoras, Kepler, Leonardo da Vinci, Tesla, and Einstein have come to the threshold of the mystery. Einstein said, the most beautiful thing we can experience is the mysterious. It is the source of all true art and science. He to whom this emotion is a stranger, who can no longer pause to wonder and stand wrapped in awe, is as good as dead. His eyes are closed. We are in the position of a little child, entering a huge library filled with books in many different languages. The child knows someone must have written those books. It does not know how. It does not understand the languages in which they are written. The child dimly suspects a mysterious order in the arrangement of the books, but doesn't know what it is. That, it seems to me, is the attitude of even the most intelligent human being toward God. We see a universe marvelously arranged and obeying certain laws. Our limited minds cannot grasp the mysterious force that moves the constellations. Every scientist who looks deeply into the universe and every mystic who looks deeply within the self eventually comes face to face with the same thing. The primordial spiral. thousand years before the creation of the ancient observatory at Stonehenge, the spiral was a predominant symbol on Earth. Ancient spirals can be found in all parts of the globe. Thousands of ancient spirals such as these can be found all over Europe, North America and New Mexico, Utah, Australia, China, Russia, virtually every indigenous culture on Earth. The ancient spirals symbolize growth, expansion, and cosmic energy embodied within the sun and the heavens. The spiral form is between the macrocosm of the unfolding universe itself. In native traditions, the spiral was the energetic source, the primordial mother. Yeah.
spoke in terms of David Icke, not infinite consciousness. And therefore, we got caught in an illusory trap of division. And symbolized by this um, picture. Um, it talked about um, think of an eddy or a whirlpool in a river. Everybody getting crazy in a party, looking like babies. Get a friend, you can meet me in Brisbane. All the four party people now listen. And we take it to the masses. Who got the go? We fill up all the glasses. One more shot, indeed, I'll be smashing. Get up on the bar for starting a band bin. We got the mail burn down. the darkness and the moon to blood. And so as I was looking at this, uh, I went to NASA's website because they have 5,000 years of eclipses recorded mm -hmm. because God created everything mathematically they can do this. Right. Well, I noticed that there were four total blood moons or total lunar eclipses in a row in uh, 2014 and 2015. They fell on Passover and the Feast of Tabernacles in 2014, and then again on Passover and Tabernacles in 2015. I was blown away to see these four blood moons falling on the feast day, and I wondered how often does that happen? And I noticed it didn't happen at all in the 1800s, the 1700s, the 1600s. And so I went to the 1900s, and lo and behold, why? There were four blood moons in a row, and guess what years they fell? This is what we talked about, 1967 and 68 when Israel captured Jerusalem, and then right after Israel became a nation in 1948, they happened in 1949 and 1950. And so I thought, this is uh, an awesome sign. I mean, in Genesis 114, God said he created the sun and the moon and the stars to say sign. Typically, you only have one total lunar eclipse every few years. But to have four together in two years tied to the biblical holiday, that's huge. Quick and continuing reaction today after a nuclear deal was reached with Iran late last night. In exchange for rolling back its nuclear program, Iran gets an easing of many sanctions. 
but it's not a long-term deal. Under the six-month deal, Iran agreed to destroy its stockpile of weapons-grade uranium, restrict its production of nuclear fuel, and give inspectors daily access to select nuclear facilities. Speaking after the deal was announced, President Obama warned Iran that they must comply. If Iran does not fully meet its commitments during the six-month phase, we will turn off the relief and ratchet up the pressure. Skeptics, including Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, slammed the deal, calling it a historic mistake that would allow Iran to get closer to making a bomb. And now the hard part begins. The U.S. and its allies have about six months to monitor Iran's progress. Status agreement over the course of the next nine months. The United States is seeking to broker an agreement on a two state solution in which Israel would exist peacefully alongside a new Palestinian state created in the West Bank and the Gaza Strip, lands occupied by the Israelis since the 1967 war. Secretary of State John Kerry is getting ready to return to the Middle East for peace talks with Israel and Palestinian officials. This video is from a trip he made there earlier this month, and we know the timing is important. Just last week, Israeli government expressed anger over learning the United States has been gathering intelligence on them through the NSA. Kerry is expected to leave on New Year's Day in what will be his 10th trip to that region since March all part of a push to move the peace process. This is the postcard from Jerusalem. Not often you can see the old city in the golden dome with a dome with a rock blanketed in snow. Residents in Jerusalem battled to return to normality on Sunday after powerful winter storm blasting days covered the city in snow. Most of Israel, including the West Bank, has been affected by the storm. This is the most severe snowstorm in decades in Israel. Applause rings through St. Peter's Square as Pope Francis prepares to deliver his first Christmas message as the leader of the Roman Catholic Church. the end of the year, but are we heading for the end of the world as we know it? Economic turmoil, wage, rage over living pay, currently said high unemployment with benefits for more than one million people expiring tomorrow. The current economic climate has, understandably, caused a lot of fear and some unrest. One financial expert says it may be time to race for the worst and prepare for financial Armageddon. If you have never heard of Bitcoin, you are probably not alone, but the online currency is gaining popularity around the world. And now, in eastern Kentucky, the monarchy's Brittany Ola looked into the cyber money to try and answer some questions about how it works. City commissioners in Big O recently passed a measure to pay its police chief in Bitcoin. It may be a forward-thinking movement, but many of you probably do not understand how it works. Bitcoin is a new currency traded against the dollar, yen, euro, and every other currency around the world. Call the U.S. It's just what America stands for, and so to see one hurt, injured, you know, that's not that's not what you want to see. Until you see the cost, let me tell you, there is no world peace. I constantly heard the word new order, world order, and new time. Final thought from you, because you say openly in your essay that you're reserving judgment on all of this as we learn more over the next several weeks. But one of the things that you talk about in a broader perspective is global powers trying to rearrange themselves into a new global world order. I think we have to watch it carefully to see whether, in fact, this is the opening of a new moment in international history. 
So my freedoms and my patriotism were instantly being eroded from my understanding. Our other big story, a clash between church and county, a place of worship being told to take down a sign with an American flag and a message to support the troops. The church put up this sign to cover an old billboard that was run down. However, support the troops is becoming quite controversial here in Nevada County. Why would you, uh, you, you knock something that's got an American flag on it and say support our troops? Uh, I have no idea. I really don't. Fourth grader Gracie Brown and her brother Luke put a lot of thought and effort into their Christmas cards. It's really she couldn't say God bless you in a card and you couldn't reference any scripture. People were buying right into this plan that this man was releasing through the earth. It's staggering me. No resistance. No one was fighting it. No one was saying anything publicly. I, I, I can't tell you if the airwaves were uh, controlled to the point where you couldn't come on and say certain things. You, you can't just get on the three major networks and say what you want. Superstar patriarch of Duck Dynasty, Phil Robertson, put on indefinite hiatus now by A&E for comments that he made to GQ magazine about homosexuality. Well, Martha, after some heavy lobbying by gay community, uh, A&E suspended Robertson for his personal offenders, the greedy, the drunkards, the slanderers, the swindlers. They will not inherit the kingdom of God. Far in several states since February, the facial recognition system compiles mugshots, DNA information, iris scans, and voice recognition. It remains unclear, though, if images of the general public will also be included when it they call it. A tank? Yeah, I think they are. Now, it's of all the things that I've seen and heard, there's only one message that can change people's lives and hearts. There is a way if you come by the way of the cross. I know that there are many people that don't speak that. People don't want to hear that they're sinners. To many people, it's an offense. The cross is offensive because it directly confronts the evils which dominate so much of this world. I'm 
can't help it I'm not superhuman I'm breaking Don't let me fall apart I can't help it I'm not superhuman